it's bonnet or hood day it's rained last night and it must have rained pretty hard all the sheets that were covering the doors that were hanging up are all wet and I've had to remove the doors out I should have done it before really just standing there for two weeks waiting to be painted isn't really a good thing um, and the, the boot got wet the trunk got wet and that's got rust on it now so I'm going to deal with that quickly with some I think just phosphor kit for now just to stop it I mean it's all going to be sanded and DA'd and primed and this that and the other but let's just get this surface rust off it and this has got where the rain splatters I've hit it I've got some rust on it but that doesn't matter because I'm going to do the work on that now right um, like I said before this has been vandalized or something I've just phosphoric acid it the other day to get all the red rust off it you can see from the pitting uh, and then that leaves a coating on it and the coating is actually quite a bit good at uh, pick, picking up you know because you scratch it off and it goes shiny so you can see here uh, hopefully you can see here the high spots that means that that is a dent there all the way around there so sort of one dent there another dent there that's dented that's dented that's dented well it's all basically dented but what it means is I've got a guide as to know what to try and pull on so you're gonna give the glue thing a go to PDR but I don't hold out much for it there's no paint on here and I don't think the glue really likes to stick without having paint on it but if it doesn't well, we're going to use the tools for the PDR and weld some I'll make some I'll get some bolts and I'll turn them down with a grinder I haven't got a lathe make that bite again um, I'll turn them down and, uh, to a point and then I can weld the point on there and then use them to pull up you'll see you'll see but anyway that is what I'm going to try and do so I'm going to stick it on time lapse and uh, you'll see how I uh, how I proceed and if I've got anything noteworthy or comment worthy or just generally worthy I'll stop the time lapse and moan Okay, right, so that was just a phosphoric acid wash, which is, so I've got 80% phosphoric acid in that blue barrel down there. Bought that years ago, and it'll last me a lifetime. Uh, and then what I do is I take like 10 to 1, so one part of uh, a phosphoric acid and 10 parts of water, and then just like dissolve the acid, sorry, dissolve the rust with it. Then wipe it down with a damp cloth try and neutralize it. Sometimes I use uh, a baking soda solution or what is it, bicarbonate soda mixed with water um, but in this case I'm not going to bother because I'm not painting on it yet I'm not that, bothered, not that bothered about neutralizing it but if you don't wash it off, if you don't wipe it down you get a, a, like a crystalline uh, salty hard substance forming on the panel uh, so you need to wipe it down, and then when you wipe it down, it gets this this hue to it. This sort of you can see it turning now. It's sort of going bluey, goldy, um, and then dry it. Dry it. It's important to dry it. So, yeah, that'll do. I need somewhere a bit safer to to park it. Uh, the office over there is full, and it's raining, and, and never mind. Right. So I'm going to get on with the bonnet. <coughs> well, it's working. It's actually working. I changed the glue. I had this this other glue, um, just in a, in a drawer. It just happens to be the same size rod, and it's actually a lot stronger than the glue that came with the PDR, which is fine because the PDR is for pulling stuff out, you know, with paint on, and it's supposed to be gentle. We've been a little bit more, little bit more aggressive with an older, thicker panel. 
but that is all coming out. You can still see, I don't know how well it's coming up on the picture on the camera. That's low, that's low. These are all low spots. And obviously the silver, shiny stuff is all high. But that was amazing there because that was really low and that just came out with one bonk. And this was all low as well. So I'm happy. That seems to be a little tough one in there. We'll try that again. We'll keep, just keep trying them. Anything that's low, we'll pop it up. And if it comes too high, we'll, we'll slap it back down again. This was actually designed as a slapper. Not designed, made. It's just an old file. Normally got a golf ball on the end of it. The most useful thing you can do with a golf ball is stick it on a file handle. The only complaint I've got about a slide hammer is it's uh, round and it rolls off the bonnet. Let's keep going. I'll put it back on time lapse. Go for this one next, that one. Go for all the, all the higher ones. But you can probably tell I'm a little bit excited about this one. I was just about to give up and start making pins and nails and pulling attachments to use with the the kit and I thought oh no I'll just try the slide hammer and the slide hammer I think is definitely the way to go the little teaser thing the little puller thing I mean that's okay but uh, it's not it's not pulling up stretching it up is it No one's actually sheared the head off it. So they're proper sticking now. <laughs> Boom. Oh dear. Uh, just give it a little. And I did find out, because I've seen them do this on stuff. And they're... The panel wire helps get the glue off. That works. That's a good thing. Yeah, the panel wipe actually dissolves the glue as well. This is acrylic glue, but just, I guess it's just enough to break the bond, break the, the stiction or whatever it is. But, I'm going to keep going at that. The battery is very low on the camera. Uh, so I'm going to charge the camera up and just continue just bonking out all the, all the darker spots. And when I come back, you'll think it's a new bonnet. Might be next week. Or hopefully it'll look like a new bonnet. I'm not going to be able to do anything PDR on these. This is the... Uh, I mean, we swore that the door was axe attacked because it was actually these slits cut into it. And we reckon this is probably the same thing. I reckon the car was vandalised. I'm calling this PDR a success. I uh, I went quite to town on this bit here, just to see what level of pulling I could do, and uh, it was all coming out quite well. I could spend hours and hours and hours more on it and get it a lot better, but the aim actually was to take the big dips out because before. I don't know if that's going to show up. Before, I couldn't get that profile on it. But that room didn't, didn't follow before. And now it does. Really, yeah, because it's double skinned.
plan was to try and get the rough shape back in and then fill the rest of it. So I've done that, so I'm quite happy. The rest of it will be down the filler. So I think now, can you hear them birds kicking off out there? <laughs> Where are they? There were a couple on the wire here earlier. They were having a fun day. Anyway, right, yes, yeah, so digress. Get distracted easily in this shed. That okay, I'm happy with that shape. So now the next thing to do is clean up the inside of it, get that ready for painting, and then probably flip it back and then uh, and then DA all this off because this has got to be uh, primed as well. Uh, I actually take a, a shorter time than I expected to to try and get that sorted out. I'm not going to bother with uh, glass fiber reinforced stuff because there's no actual structural uh, repairs and, and, and it doesn't seem to be much depth of filler required. So it wants to go into primer first and then get filled and sanded. And what I want to do as well, when I did my escort, the bonnet had been tap danced on and you probably, if you look at my Facebook, you can actually see a picture of my dog on the bonnet at one stage. Uh, and I borrowed some splines which are a bit like this ruler, long splines off a, off a mate of mine, off the, off the paint guy. And uh, they were brilliant for doing, you know, long, long panels. So I've just been on to a guy and he may be able to get me some Bakelite uh, pieces, like 70 mil wide and a meter long. And I'll probably cut it into like 70, 30. So I've got one a foot long and then the other one three foot long or however long that would be. 70, 70 uh, centimeters. Yeah, 27 inches, <laughs> three foot. Yeah, three, four foot, there you go. Um, and I'll buy some stick on, stick on sandpaper. And then we can board, properly board with these spline type things, this, this bonnet and try and get as good as we can with the filler. The Escort bonnet actually got uh, spray fillered um, and that was really, really good, but I don't have any spray filler. And I spoke to the people that do the filler here. What is that, that stuff? U-Pole, U-Pole Fantastic is what I use. They don't have any spray filler in stock. So uh, we just have to go with a normal bog. So get the bonnet cleaned up um, inside, flip it back out, DA it, prime it, and, uh, and then start filling work. We're on the barrel, on the tire and uh, let's get this cleaned up so just plod along and get this done no need to uh, time lapse it you know do just do a before and after so i've just taken off this rubber seal along here they seem to just pop out the seal isn't in best of condition but it will suffice if i can't find another one if they're different to different to the uh, saloon hatchback five door seal because the bonnets are different but whatever, um, yeah, get cleaning. We've just had another delivery and uh, actually by looking at the sticker I already know what it is. But Russell had to have a chuckle, didn't you? Because yeah. it's actually come to my proper name, Mr. Gavin Squint and it's Mint. <laughs> you want to open it up, mate? Disc of pure black. How about that then? Pure black. I wanted pure green, but they didn't have any pure green. They sent me pure black. Anyway, enough of that joke. Um, this is going to be a throttle adapter. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to machine this up with, I don't know what size hole on, because you, maybe, maybe you saw the video before where I designed a, on the, to the AutoCAD uh, a flange. So we've got a hole one side and a hole the other side and they're different sizes so they blend through to each other. And then four holes one side of a certain PCD and then four holes the other side of a certain PCD and then maybe some chopping down and that will adapt our BMW M54 throttle onto the Mazda plenum aftermarket thing we bought. I shall carry on now with my um, sanding. What are you going to do? Yeah, man. See you later. Bye. So it sort of looks like I'm about three quarters away around this disgusting thing and you can see clearly how disgusting it is when half of it or three quarters of it is done. Um, that's not why I turned the camera on, I turned the camera on because I recalled Beery's question about that. He asked what's the mini moto up on the uh, on the bench. Well in fact it's not a mini moto it's a Z50 Honda Gorilla from 1972. I bought it about 20 years ago. I used to use it as a pit bike. The kids have uh, ridden it and we took it apart to uh, do it up a bit to continue using it as a pit bike and uh, other things got in the way. So I should really send it to a bike shop if I'm not going to do it myself. There's your question. Anybody else got any questions? Ask away. Right, I think that's pretty much uh, cleaned on this side. I'm just going to uh, maybe put a little uh, rust converter on the bare metal, seeing as though it's been raining and that. Just hold off any flash rust, and I may well just splash a little uh, 1k epoxy on it too. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to flip her over and start DAing it because I think tomorrow what I'll do is I'll try and get the primer on the top side of both both the bonnet and the boot. Austin is on the camera, he's been out all day and he's come in and seen this and been quite surprised. You want to get it for this angle actually. It's huge difference here. Yeah? It's interesting, it was like big eggs in it. So tomorrow I'm gonna put a primer on this so that I can do the filling. And I'll also DA, I'm not going to DA it all tonight because of the noise. It's I think 7 o'clock now uh, with neighbours and stuff. And wife. Wife complains more than the neighbours. Uh, so, right. Just had a guy contact me on Facebook and he says, Got any Sierras for sale? It's really nice of him. Um, I think he's probably looking at the YouTube now. He found our Sierra Thailand Facebook page, English guy, and uh, yeah, he's keen to get one. So I might have started something here over here. Nobody's ever bothered with them before, only when they were new. But uh, anyway, so that hopefully is another subscriber. If there's anybody out there that's watching that hasn't subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions, like Beery on the old Honda Monkey. Else. What's it like out here? What's the food like? Is it really that hot? Anything you like. Right, like, subscribe, dislike, whatever. See you tomorrow.